Hello again, Martin and MMX fans. Maureen here from Meticuli Designs with another version of the Kinetic Fingers. When I recently rewatched the first video where Martin explains the fingers, I realized something. Listen to how he describes the motion. What I want the machine to do is to lift these Tim Burton-esque visual fingers and keep them still when the vibraphone is not playing. And then I want the fingers to fall down just like a piano player put his hands on the keys of the piano and start moving for every note the marble machine is playing. This is not what the machine is currently set up to do. The fingers do lift up when the instruments are muted, but they also lift up when a note is played instead of rotating down like they're playing a key. Here's what they would look like with this key pressing motion. Perhaps that other rotating backwards motion has been adding to the creepiness factor. I gave myself some very specific design restraints and what's interesting is this new motion could potentially address some of the issues that people have mentioned in the comments. To achieve the key pressing motion, the best option for working with the MMX as it is seems to be using gears. What you're seeing here is a small section of gear that gets attached to this circular piece. The fingers would slide onto a rod that would be welded in this position, and then a matching gear section would be on the finger. Properly made gears shouldn't add any stress to the programming pins and should be pretty silent. Mounting them all on a single rod means that they'd be removable for transport or for close-up performances. When the fingers are actively playing, they'll move like this. And when muted, all the fingers will be pointing straight down. But check this out. Moving the pivot point here allows you to do something really exciting. It now gives the fingers the function of actually being playable keys. If you connect a rod here to this arm with the drop knob and support it with another rod here, you can actually push the finger to push the drop knob arm to release a marble. The position of where this rod can go will depend on how the muting system is connected to the circular pieces, which I can't find detailed in any video, but I believe it should be doable. So what if we went one step further and took the idea of fingers playing keys out of it so that we're left with just the keys? What we have now is a marble machine with fingerless kinetic fingers. This design follows in the footsteps of player pianos and other self-playing musical machines. Playable keys mounted in the front in this way gives the MMX an accessibility that it hasn't had before. It should be easier to play chords and maybe, maybe even a slide. I'm sure those who think the fingers are too creepy are enjoying this version, but let's return to Martin's original vision and get the fingers back in. The way to get the motion that Martin originally envisioned is to keep the fingers separate from the keys. Doing so gives the illusion that the fingers are playing the machine, but it also retains the function of playing the keys manually when the fingers are muted and in the up position. This rigid finger could be mounted on this pole and directly controlled by the muting mechanism, which from what I can tell goes here. They would be up like this when muted, kept in place by a counterweight. When they're unmuted, they would pivot here and rotate down, so the finger rests on the moving key and makes it look like it's pushing the key. So let's see what this looks like when it's all put together. I think I got pretty close to achieving everything on my list. I hope everybody understands that I've been making these videos on my own and that they're completely unsolicited. It's been so much fun figuring out how to get these prototypes to work. I hope you've enjoyed this latest version of the Kinetic Fingers, and hopefully my brain will be able to rest now that I've shared this new idea with you. Thanks for watching, and see you at the World Tour!